The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The one who keeps himself away from evil and seeks solitude is the best among them. In a world full of distractions and noise, these words remind us of the immense power and peace found in solitude. But what does it truly mean to embrace being alone? Imagine a moment of pure stillness, where you can hear your own thoughts clearly, where your heart connects deeply with Allah, and where you find the clarity and strength to be your true self. Join me as we explore how seeking solitude can help us know ourselves better, strengthen our connection with Allah, and unlock our full potential. 1. Spend time alone to know yourself better. Spending time alone allows us to truly understand who we are. The Quran reminds us, and in yourselves, then will you not see. In solitude, we can reflect on our thoughts, actions and intentions, gaining insight into our true nature. This self-awareness is essential for personal growth. By understanding our behaviors and motivations, we can begin to make positive changes, aligning our lives more closely with our values and faith. Solitude becomes a powerful tool for self-improvement and spiritual development. Two, embrace solitude over foolish company. In Islam, it's important to be mindful of the company we keep. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, a person is on the religion of his close friend, so let him be careful who he takes as a close friend. Sometimes being alone is better than surrounding ourselves with people who might lead us astray or influence us negatively. Solitude offers us the chance to protect our hearts and minds from harmful influences. It allows us to focus on our own thoughts and values rather than being swayed by others. By choosing solitude over foolish company, we safeguard our spiritual well-being and maintain the purity of our intentions. This careful choice helps us stay true to our beliefs and strengthens our connection with Allah. 3. Discover your true self. Solitude gives us the space to discover our true selves, free from the pressures and expectations of others. When we're alone, we can ask ourselves, who am I? and what do I truly believe in? This introspection helps us understand our core values, strengths, and areas for improvement. The Quran advises us to be firm in our identity and do not obey every worthless habitual swearer. By spending time alone, we can explore who we are at our deepest level, ensuring that our actions and beliefs are aligned with our true self and our faith. This self-discovery allows us to live authentically, making decisions that reflect our true character. It's a journey of understanding who we are meant to be and embracing that person with confidence and clarity. 4. Strengthen your connection with Allah One of the most profound benefits of solitude is the opportunity it provides to strengthen our connection with Allah. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, our relationship with our Creator can sometimes take a back seat. However, when we intentionally seek out moments of solitude, we create a sacred space where we can focus entirely on our spiritual growth. The Quran reminds us of Allah's closeness. And when my servants ask you concerning me, indeed I am near, I respond to the invocation of the supplicant when he calls upon me. This verse reassures us that Allah is always near, always ready to listen and respond. In solitude, away from distractions, we can engage in sincere prayer, pouring our hearts out to Allah with full concentration and devotion. Solitude also allows us to engage deeply with the Quran. When we are alone, we can recite and reflect on the verses of the Quran without interruption. This deep reflection helps us to understand the meanings behind the words, to contemplate their relevance to our lives, and to apply them in ways that strengthen our faith. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would often spend time in solitude, especially in the cave of Hira, where he received the first revelations of the Quran. This example highlights the importance of seeking solitude for spiritual enlightenment and growth. Moreover, 
Solitude gives us the opportunity to engage in dhikr, remembrance of Allah, which is a powerful way to keep our hearts connected to Allah throughout the day. When we remember Allah in solitude, we find peace and tranquility that only His remembrance can bring. The Quran says, Verily in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest. This rest and peace are essential for spiritual well-being, and they are most easily attained in moments of quiet reflection and remembrance. In addition to prayer, Quranic recitation and dhikr, solitude provides us with the time to reflect on our lives, our actions, and our intentions. It is during these quiet moments that we can assess our relationship with Allah, seek His forgiveness for our shortcomings, and make sincere intentions to improve ourselves. This process of self-reflection and repentance is vital for spiritual purification and growth. Furthermore, in solitude, we can experience the beauty of Allah's creation more deeply. Whether it's sitting quietly in nature, observing the sky, or simply reflecting on the blessings in our lives, these moments of contemplation bring us closer to Allah and increase our gratitude. The Quran encourages us to ponder the signs of Allah in creation. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. By making solitude a regular part of our lives, we not only strengthen our connection with Allah, but also develop a deep sense of inner peace and contentment. This spiritual strength equips us to face the challenges of life with patience, resilience, and a heart that is always mindful of Allah's presence. Solitude is not just a time for being alone. It's a time for being with Allah. It's an opportunity to deepen our spiritual connection, to engage in sincere worship, and to reflect on our lives in light of our faith. By embracing solitude, we draw closer to Allah, find peace in His remembrance, and fortify our souls for the journey ahead. 5. Finding Clarity in Decision-Making In a world filled with constant noise and distractions, making clear and thoughtful decisions can be challenging. Our lives are often bombarded with opinions, pressures, and external influences that can cloud our judgment and lead us to make choices that are not aligned with our true values or the guidance of our faith. This is where the power of solitude comes in offering us the clarity we need to make decisions that reflect our deepest beliefs and highest aspirations. When we take the time to retreat into solitude, we give ourselves the space to think deeply and critically about the decisions we face. Away from the influence of others, we can examine the options before us with a clear mind, weighing the pros and cons, and considering the long-term consequences of our choices. This reflective process is crucial in ensuring that our decisions are not made impulsively or under pressure, but are instead thoughtful and deliberate. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of seeking internal guidance when making decisions. He said, seek the counsel of your heart, even if the people advise you otherwise. This hadith highlights the significance of trusting our inner voice especially when it is informed by faith and reflection. In solitude, we can listen to this inner voice more clearly, free from the noise and confusion of the outside world. Solitude also provides us with the opportunity to seek guidance from Allah in our decision-making. Through istikhara, the prayer for guidance, we can ask Allah to guide us to the best decision, one that is pleasing to Him and beneficial for us. The beauty of istikhara lies in the fact that it is a direct and personal appeal to Allah, acknowledging our own limitations and seeking His infinite wisdom. When performed in solitude, istikhara becomes even more powerful as it allows us to connect with Allah on a deeper level and to approach our decisions with a sense of peace and trust in His plan. Solitude helps us to disconnect from the overwhelming influx of information that can often paralyze our decision-making process. In today's digital age, we are constantly bombarded with news, opinions, and advice from countless sources, 
making it difficult to focus on what truly matters. By stepping away from these distractions, even for a short while, we can gain perspective on the issues at hand and filter out the noise that may be clouding our judgment. In addition to providing clarity, solitude allows us to reflect on our past decisions and learn from them. When we are alone, we can take the time to think about the choices we've made in the past, analyze what went well and what didn't, and use these insights to guide our future decisions. This process of reflection is a key component of personal growth and self-improvement. It helps us to understand our decision-making patterns, identify areas where we may have been swayed by external influences, and make adjustments that will lead to better outcomes in the future. Solitude encourages us to align our decisions with our long-term goals and values. In the quiet of our own thoughts, we can revisit our life's purpose, the principles we hold dear, and the vision we have for our future. This alignment ensures that the decisions we make are not just reactions to immediate circumstances, but are steps toward achieving our greater aspirations. It allows us to act with intention and purpose, rather than being driven by the fleeting concerns of the moment. Solitude gives us the emotional space to process difficult decisions. Some choices in life are inherently challenging and come with a significant emotional burden. By spending time alone, we can work through these emotions, allowing ourselves to feel and process them fully before coming to a decision. This emotional clarity is essential for making choices that are not only rational, but also in harmony with our emotional and spiritual well-being. Solitude is a powerful tool for finding clarity in decision-making. It allows us to think deeply, seek guidance from Allah, and align our choices with our true values and long-term goals. By embracing solitude, we can make decisions that are thoughtful, deliberate, and ultimately lead to a life that is more fulfilling and aligned with our faith. 6. Protecting your heart from corruption In the teachings of Islam, the heart is considered the spiritual center of our being. It's where our intentions, emotions, and inner beliefs reside. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of maintaining a pure heart when he said, there is a piece of flesh in the body. If it becomes good, reformed, the whole body becomes good. But if it gets spoilt, the whole body gets spoilt, and that is the heart. This profound statement underscores the idea that the condition of our heart determines the overall state of our spiritual health. Therefore, protecting the heart from corruption is of utmost importance and solitude plays a crucial role in this process. In today's world, our hearts are constantly exposed to potential sources of corruption. Whether it's through harmful influences from social media, toxic environments, or negative relationships, we are often surrounded by elements that can taint our hearts with negativity, envy, greed, or other harmful traits. The noise and chaos of daily life can make it difficult to maintain the purity of our hearts, which is why seeking moments of solitude is essential. Solitude allows us to step back from the external world and focus inwardly on the state of our hearts. When we spend time alone, we have the opportunity to examine our thoughts and feelings without the distraction of outside influences. This introspection is vital because it helps us identify any negative emotions or harmful intentions that may have taken root in our hearts. It's in these quiet moments that we can ask ourselves important questions. Am I holding on to grudges? Do I feel jealousy or resentment toward others? Are my intentions pure? Or have they been tainted by selfish desires? Once we've identified these negative elements, Solitude provides the space to actively work on purifying our hearts. This can be done through sincere repentance, asking Allah for forgiveness, and making a conscious effort to replace negative emotions with positive ones. For example, if we find that our hearts are harboring envy, 
we can use our time in solitude to practice gratitude, reflecting on the blessings Allah has bestowed upon us and cultivating a sense of contentment. The Quran reminds us, indeed, the one who purifies himself succeeds. This verse encourages us to engage in self-purification, a process that is greatly facilitated by solitude. Solitude gives us the chance to reconnect with our spiritual practices, which are essential for maintaining a pure heart. Engaging in dhikr, remembrance of Allah, reciting the Quran, and performing acts of worship in solitude help to cleanse the heart and keep it focused on what truly matters, our relationship with Allah. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would often seek solitude to engage in worship and reflection, particularly during the month of Ramadan, when he would retreat to the cave of Hira. This practice of seclusion, known as itikaf, is a powerful way to disconnect from worldly distractions and immerse oneself in the worship of Allah, allowing the heart to be cleansed and rejuvenated. In addition to purifying the heart, solitude also protects it from future corruption. When we regularly seek moments of solitude, we develop a heightened awareness of the condition of our hearts. This awareness acts as a shield, helping us to recognize and resist potential sources of corruption before they can take root. For example, if we encounter a situation that could lead to feelings of anger or jealousy, our practice of solitude and self-reflection can help us manage these emotions more effectively, preventing them from corrupting our hearts. Solitude also strengthens our resolve to maintain ethical behavior in the face of temptation. When we are alone, we can reflect on the consequences of our actions and reinforce our commitment to living according to the principles of Islam. This reflection helps us to stay true to our values, even when we are faced with challenges or temptations in our daily lives. The Quran guides us to remain steadfast. So remain on a right course as you have been commanded, and those who have turned back with you to Allah and do not transgress. Indeed, He is seeing of what you do. Quran 11 1, 1, 12. Solitude supports this steadfastness by allowing us to continually align our hearts with the teachings of Islam. Solitude offers us the chance to foster a deep sense of inner peace, which is essential for protecting the heart. In moments of quiet reflection, we can let go of stress, anxiety, and the pressures of the external world. This inner peace helps to calm the heart, reducing the likelihood of it becoming corrupted by negative emotions or thoughts. The Quran states, those who have believed and whose hearts are assured by the remembrance of Allah, unquestionably, by the remembrance of Allah, hearts are assured. This verse highlights the calming effect of remembering Allah, which is most profound when practiced in solitude. Solitude is a powerful tool for protecting and purifying the heart. It allows us to reflect on our inner state, identify and remove sources of corruption, and reinforce our commitment to living a life that is pleasing to Allah. By regularly seeking moments of solitude, we can maintain the purity of our hearts ensuring that they remain free from harmful influences and aligned with the principles of our faith. This practice not only enhances our spiritual well-being, but also strengthens our ability to face life's challenges with a heart that is steadfast, pure, and fully devoted to Allah. 7. Better Relationships with Others One of the often overlooked benefits of solitude is how it can lead to better relationships with others. In a world where we are constantly surrounded by people, whether physically or through digital connections, it might seem counterintuitive that spending time alone can actually improve our interactions with others. However, solitude provides us with the necessary time and space to develop self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and empathy, all of which are essential for building and maintaining healthy relationships. When we take time to be alone, we gain a clearer understanding of ourselves, our emotions, triggers, and needs. This self-awareness is crucial 
because it allows us to approach our relationships from a place of authenticity and honesty. By knowing ourselves better, we can communicate our thoughts and feelings more effectively, reducing misunderstandings and fostering deeper connections with others. The Quran encourages us to be truthful and straightforward in our interactions. O oh, you who have believed, fear Allah and speak words of appropriate justice. Quran 3370 Solitude helps us develop the clarity and confidence needed to uphold this principle in our relationships. Solitude allows us to reflect on our past interactions with others. When we are constantly in the presence of others, it's easy to overlook or suppress our feelings about certain situations or conflicts. However, in the quiet of solitude, we have the opportunity to revisit these interactions, analyze them, and understand our role in them. This reflection can lead to valuable insights about how we relate to others, where we may have gone wrong, and how we can improve. It also gives us the chance to forgive ourselves and others, letting go of any lingering resentment or anger that may be harming our relationships. Another significant way in which solitude enhances our relationships is by helping us develop empathy. Another significant way in which solitude enhances our relationships is by helping us develop empathy. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is a cornerstone of meaningful relationships. When we spend time alone, we can reflect on the experiences and perspectives of those around us, putting ourselves in their shoes. This reflection fosters a deeper sense of compassion and understanding, which can greatly improve how we interact with and support others. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, None of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Sahih al-Bukhari Solitude gives us the space to cultivate this empathy, making us more considerate and compassionate companions, friends and family members. Solitude also provides the opportunity to recharge and renew our energy. Interacting with others while fulfilling can also be draining especially if we are constantly giving our time, attention and energy without taking a break. By spending time alone, we can rest and rejuvenate, ensuring that we are emotionally and mentally prepared to give our best to our relationships. This self-care is not selfish, rather it enables us to be more present, patient and loving when we are with others. The Quran teaches us the importance of balance in our lives and seek through that which Allah has given you, the home of the hereafter. And yet, do not forget your share of the world. Quran 2877 Part of this balance is taking care of ourselves so that we can be there for others in a healthy and meaningful way. Solitude helps us to set healthy boundaries in our relationships. By spending time alone, we can clarify what we are comfortable with and what we are not both in terms of our personal space and emotional limits. This clarity is essential for maintaining relationships that are respectful and mutually beneficial. When we know our boundaries, we can communicate them clearly to others, preventing misunderstandings and fostering relationships based on mutual respect. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised, do not harm yourself or others. Sunan ibn Majah. Setting boundaries, which we can define more clearly in solitude, is a practical application of this principle. Solitude can deepen our appreciation for the people in our lives. When we step away from the constant interactions and take time to be alone, we often return to our relationships with a renewed sense of gratitude and love for the people we care about. This time apart, allows us to reflect on the positive aspects of our relationships and recognize the blessings that our loved ones bring into our lives. The Quran encourages us to be grateful for the blessings in our lives. And if you should count the favors of Allah, you could not enumerate them. Quran 1618 Recognizing our relationships as part of these favors enhances our ability to cherish and nurture them 
Solitude gives us the strength to support others without losing ourselves in the process. By spending time alone, we build a strong sense of self that is not easily swayed by the opinions or expectations of others. This inner strength allows us to be there for our loved ones, offering support and guidance, while also maintaining our own identity and values. It ensures that our relationships are based on mutual respect and understanding, rather than dependence or neediness. Solitude is not just beneficial for our individual growth, but it also plays a crucial role in enhancing our relationships with others. It allows us to know ourselves better, develop empathy, set healthy boundaries, and approach our relationships with renewed energy and appreciation. By embracing solitude, we become better equipped to engage in relationships that are meaningful, balanced, and deeply fulfilling, ultimately leading to a richer and more connected life. So next time you find yourself alone, remember that it's a time to grow, reflect, and connect with Allah. Embrace the power of solitude and let it be a source of strength and peace in your life. Thank you for watching. If you found this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on Islamic teachings. May Allah bless you with peace and tranquility, both in solitude and in the company of others. Assalamu alaikum.